Well, we're here at the Food IT Conference in San Francisco, and I'm excited to talk to Alexis Fox, the CEO of Lighter. Hi. Tell everyone what Lighter is. Sure. We are a meal planning technology company. So we build software and we partner with influencers. These are people who are leading healthcare providers, they've written books, they are filmmakers, they're celebrities, they have a nutrition philosophy to share with the world. We partner with them and then we customize their nutrition advice for their audience. And then we're integrated into grocery delivery so that we can then have the groceries delivered to someone's door. So it's a food personalization service layer, yep. and you are working with people who have audiences that want to tap into them, mm -hmm. and then ultimately deliver some sort of service through like food delivery. And so it sounds like a multiple layer problem that mm -hmm. you're kind of dealing with. You're, mm -hmm. you're bringing people together. Mm -hmm. like Absolutely. It. Yep. And it's not, like, wouldn't it be great if you like worked with someone like Beyonce? <laughs> Don't you actually work with Beyonce? <laughs> Yeah, so um, Beyonce, uh, as she was preparing for Coachella yeah. this year, um, invited her fans to join her in preparation. And so um, in order to get the same philosophy that she uses to prepare for an event like Coachella out to her audience, we built uh, her meal planner. And, um, and then it's integrated into grocery delivery, so you can watch Beyonce on stage, say, I want to look like Beyonce, and then a few hours later, have a bag of groceries delivered to your door that is aligned with how she eats, and then also customized for you. This idea of like personalities taking what they do creatively around food and then tapping into it, it sounds like almost like a next generation publishing platform. Mm -hmm. um, is, it, is this like something that is almost akin to like, where people in the past would maybe write a book, and now they're doing like, a meal plan and then people can subscribe to that? Yeah, it's it's such a good question. Um, I resisted even calling what we're doing a meal planner for a while. I didn't know exactly what box to put it in. And I think in part that's because it's not a cookbook. It's um, a behavior change technologies. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of um, depth to the tech that we're bringing, but at the same time, we're delivering content to people so that they can go on a journey alongside the person who's inspired and motivated them. And we work with Beyonce, but it also has very serious uh, implications for healthcare, and we do a lot in healthcare as well. Um, so healthcare providers have not traditionally made recipe books for their patients to help them eat better, and this is a way to really walk them through. There's that a strong journey. connection between personalization and, and food as medicine, right? Yep. So, and that's where you're tapping into where um, people who are healthcare providers say you eat this way, uh, and then you're helping them do that by helping them then connect into like a food delivery service, maybe on the grocery side or whatever, yeah. to get to the consumer or the patient? Yeah, so our roots are really in healthcare. I'm not a healthcare provider, but my co-founder is an incredible nutritionist who has deep roots, our director of healthcare, is on the faculty of American College of Lifestyle Medicine. And um, healthcare providers who, who are starting to really see that food as medicine is hopefully the future of medicine and that we can start to really prevent chronic disease uh, as opposed to just you know, give people pills at the end of uh, when they already have it. Um, we've been able to connect that trend in food as medicine with grocery delivery. So we have um, integrations with Instacart, with Peapod, soon Amazon Fresh, and that enables you to go to your doctor, find out you're at risk for heart disease, and then once again have a customized heart healthy meal plan made up for you with the groceries delivered to your door to make it more convenient. You know, it can't quite be a pill. Right. Um, food as medicine probably will never be that because eating yeah. whole foods and yeah. learning how to cook is important. But we can try and get as close to that kind of convenience as possible. So you partnered with a number of the companies like you said, uh, Peapod, for example, and um, the grocery companies. Are they excited about this idea of maybe creating more personalized shopping for people? Is mm -hmm. this like something that you're seeing a lot of excitement from? I think in the over in the grocery delivery space, there are a lot of problems to solve. Yeah. Uh, early on, I looked at grocery and looked at kind of meal kits, and I said, I do not want to do supply chain logistics, yeah. food supply chain logistics. It just seems really challenging. So I think a lot of them are primarily focused on just nailing down the economics of that. Right. and the work of getting frozen kale to your door. That's a, that's a hard problem to solve. Um, but of course, you know, we're sending users to them, so that's never a bad thing, and we're able to curate the grocery store. As we move into this new world where um, food is coming online, it's the first time in human history that our food supply chain is becoming digitally visible. 
we really have the opportunity to be able to curate groceries for people. And I find that really exciting. Um, I think they think it's exciting, but they have a lot of problems to be solving. And from a consumer that. perspective, do you ever touch a consumer with like a lighter app? Or is this all largely a B2B type of business where the brand that touches the consumer is like maybe the Beyonce uh, experience or app or the Beyonce service or, you know, group health experience? What is actually the consumer seat and is it ever lighter? Yeah, so um, both. Both, okay. Both, yeah. So uh, we have an app. We... Um, I think that keeping people connected to the person who motivated them is very powerful for the end user. Um, you're not just making your smoothie, you're making the smoothie that maybe um, Beyonce recommended. So uh, I like keeping that connection um, and us you know, taking, just allowing that connection to exist. Do you guys see yourself ultimately being a part of the consumer kitchen in a way like you may ultimately not only help people select what their cons their groceries will be and what these meals will be, but also mm -hmm. kind of getting into that cooking experience a little bit? I mean, as they get yeah, the groceries we're, in Yeah, we're already in the cooking experience in that we're, we have cooking videos, we're teaching people how to yeah. make the recipes. Um, and of course, I think as uh, we get a connected kitchen, there's going to be endless opportunities uh, for all kinds of applications in the kitchen. And, and yeah, I definitely see us as a part of that. And how, people, how can people find out more about Lighter? Um, to find out more about Lighter, you can go to lighter.world, and you, you and then we're all over the internet, but it's not always easy to find us. Great. Hey, well, thanks scene. for spending time with me. Yeah, That's been great. Thank you.